hey there everyone welcome to another video of fox android so in this video we're gonna learn how to implement a grid view into your android application right so let me just give you a demonstration of what we're gonna get by the end of this video so if you can see on my mobile screen uh, there is this grid view which has two columns and each element of this grid view contains an image and a text below it right so you can see here so if you want to learn the implementation make sure you watch this video till the end so without much ado let's get started So guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So we are gonna start with the design first so let me go to the split window and here we are gonna implement a grid view. So let me take grid view here and the width and height will be match parent. Let us give it id. And let the ID be grid view only. And here, here according to your requirement, you can set the columns. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll take two columns. So now we're gonna design each item for this grid view. So for that, let me take a new layout resource file. let us name it as grid item so let me quickly just design this item right okay guys we have designed the individual item for the grid view right we have taken an image view and a text view for that so now for this tutorial we are gonna need some images right so i have that in my local device so let me just copy that and paste it to the drawable folder let me just copy all of these in a real world application you won't be having these images to your drawable folder you will be fetching that from the internet right so for this tutorial sake we will be having this static data so let me first just enable the view binding so it's totally up to you guys if you want to use this concept or not and if you do not know what is view binding I have a dedicated video on this you can just check out that video as well so let this thing be completed i'm gonna skip this okay guys the build has been completed so now to feed the data to the grid view we need an adapter so for that we gonna create a new java class and i'm gonna name it as grid adapter so now this adapter will take three variables as an argument to a constructor right the first one will be the context second one will be an array of string type and let us name it as flower name you can give the name according to your requirement and the third one will be an integer type array that will contain the image id right so just right click generate constructor select all the three elements press enter and now we have got the constructor for this class so now this class will extend the base adapter okay now we need to implement certain methods we need to override them so let us override these methods so here in the count we'll just return 
the length of the array so we can return the length of the first array so flower name dot length okay we are good to go and now we need to override this get view right so let me just declare a layout inflator variable let us just call it as inflator only so if inflator is equal to null we want to check that then inflator is equal to context dot layout inflator service right so now if convert view is equal to null then we're gonna give reference to this convert view as well so inflator dot inflate and now we're gonna inflate our grid item that we have just made and we'll set null to the root right so now we're gonna refer to the two elements of our grid item so the first one is image view so let me call it as image view only so convert view dot find view by id grid image and second element we have is the text view right So now we have got the reference for both the elements no now let us change the values for those elements according to the position so here we're gonna take the array and now we'll pass the position of the item now for setting the text view we'll just set text and here we'll take the flower name array and we'll pass the position here as well right so here we'll return the convert view so that is all we need to do for the implementation of this adapter right now we're going to go to the main activity so first we're going to do our view binding thing so let me quickly do that So here we need two array that we're gonna pass to the constructor of the adapter. So the first array will be of string type that will contain the flower name. So the data will be static in this case. So let me quickly just put some data here. So okay we have got the flowers name inside this array the second one will be of in type that will contain the ids for the images in the drawable folder right so let me just fill in this array as well So okay guys we have got the data in both the arrays right so let me again emphasize on this that in the real time app whenever you will be implementing this grid view your data will not be static you are going to fetch this data either from the server the backend server that you have right so in this tutorial i'm just taking the static data so you need to get the data inside these arrays right so now let me set the adapter so first we're gonna make a adapter grid adapter let me call it as grid adapter only so new grid adapter so the first argument will be the context of this activity so that will be main activity dot this the second one will be flower name and the flower image right 
so now we got the object for this grid adapter now we're going to set the adapter to this grid view right so binding dot grid view so okay that is all we need to do so now to set the item click listener on the grid view what you're going to do is binding dot grid view dot set on item click listener right so here so this callback method will be called once a user click on any item so here we're gonna raise a toast so main activity dot this so in the message we simply will use you collect on so we'll have the position of the item that the user clicked so we're going to use the flower name array so flower sorry for that flower name and here we'll pass the position right so the length will be short dot show so just to show you guys that we have this successful implementation of this on item click listener i have just raised a toast you can do whatever you want to on the click event of the item right so i guess we are pretty much done with everything so let me quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone so as you can see we have this nice grid view inside our activity right so let me quickly uh, click on any of the items so let me click on this lily so you clicked on lily jasmine so we have the implementation for on item click listener as well so i guess we have successfully implemented this and i hope that you guys have understood the code so in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now i'll also put the link for the source code in the description below so you can check out that link if you want the source code and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video. See another video. Bye.